here we have a group of four 19th century, late 19th century, bound periodicals of Harper's Magazine in this attractive period half leather binding. We see that this is 1872. It represents these months here. There was Harper's Weekly and Harper's Monthly. Uh, this was a, a influential and very popular uh, periodical in its day and the range of authors that's found uh, within it is extensive uh, and there is also a profusion of illustrations uh, and so this is just the initial contents uh, list that's done alphabetically so for instance there's an article here on the wines of Syria uh, the story of Tammany in New York and the Tammany ring and so on the Roman capital poetry of the zodiac here's Rome right here it starts right off with these nice uh, wood engraved or line style illustrations like so and the rest of the periodical looks like this with the text uh, divided into two columns uh, and various illustrations interspersed throughout like this sometimes full page sometimes two-thirds of a page sometimes half or less and so on and it's just a profusion of stories and illustrations of the era that's very pleasing to look at yeah and a lot of it's really interesting reading sometimes as we're going through and browsing uh, taking photographs etc it's easy to get sidetracked and distracted by stories that you uh, had no idea existed and find absolutely fascinating uh, this type of calf that was used uh, by the publisher uh, has a tendency to not hold up to time very well and so this first uh, board the front board of this volume here has the joint cracked and uh, it's still a firmly attached but it is cracked this one again we have these issues here December uh, to May of 72 and 73 and again just it's really the British Museum Canary Islands yeah cradle of it it's really Horace Greeley it, it's really something uh, yeah and here's Marco Polo and there's another image of Marco Polo and there's another image of him and why there's one of his galleon ships and so on uh, like this just this profusion of content uh, hundreds of hours of reading uh, in each volume yes in fact it would probably take you an hour just to flip through this page by page just looking at the pictures that are within it <laughs> And it's uh, highly like some chipping and drying at the head of the spines, and this one has a little crack and so on. But the bindings are still sound, and the contents are still very clean as issued. Um, there's a good chance that a number of these illustrations, uh, quite a fair number, uh, don't appear in other locations. They are unique uh, to this journal and this issue and this publisher. And so there is that uh, aspect, which is uh, interesting. Uh, if you were looking for images for a source for some project that you wanted to be uh, little or unknown, chances are this would be a good place to look. Uh, and so uh, we're going to offer these four volumes uh, as a single group. Uh, and they are available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.